So if you're in the market for a high-powered blender, you've probably been asking the question, which one is better, Vitamix or Blendtec? I'm Katie Kimball from KitchenStewardship.com, and I'm here to give you just a little piece of the puzzle to help you answer that question. It's the same question that, as a consumer, I asked for two years as I was pining for a high-powered blender. It was the kitchen appliance, tops on my list, for a long time. And, and I never ended up buying one, partly because I couldn't figure out the difference. It, I did, you know, I do a little research and then kind of get stuck and bogged down and not understand and give up for a while. Uh, also partly because they're very expensive. It's a great big investment, 350 to 400 to 500 or more dollars. Um, just to get a machine that sits on your counter, it, it doesn't do your dishes or anything. Um, I'm not connected with either company in any way, although as a blogger, the Blendtec company did offer to send me a review sample of their basic model. And I'm going to show you real quick how that works. This is the Blendtec jar. It's a square, and it's got one single blade down at the bottom, which does not come apart. That was a surprise to me. You can't, can't take the blade out and disassemble the machine like you can most blenders and food processors. You just, you just have to run water through there and, and wash it as is. Um, they also sent their twister jar, which is designed for less liquid applications, things like nut butters or hummus. Um, and this is considerably smaller. It's got a circle top and the same kind of blade in the bottom. It also does not come apart. The lid has these scrapers, so you put it on and then as you're, as you're making the recipe, you twist it and that pushes the food back down toward the blades. Um, so again, it's, it's kind of for your thicker, like non-liquidy types of recipes. I got to test that out for a couple months, and you can see what I thought. Uh, my opinion was certainly not influenced in any way by the fact that Blendtec gave me a free blender. Um, you can check out that opinion at the link which is right below my feet, down there a little bit on the web page. Go ahead and click over to kitchenstewardship.com. What I want to show you today in this short set of videos is what happened when my Blendtec and I went to visit a friend with a Vitamix. It was the first time I'd seen a Vitamix in person, um, and what we did was just kind of side by side do the same recipe in both the Blendtec and the Vitamix, and we videoed it for you guys so you can see for yourself what happened. The lighting may not be the best. We're certainly not professional videographers, but I hope that the fact that just two moms got together with kids running around in chaos and, and tried to make some sunflower coconut butter um, makes it kind of a credible thing. So. First, you'll see the Vitamix making the recipe, which is uh, like a four cups coconut, a cup of sunflower seeds, and some salt and some sweetener. So it was going to be kind of a coconut sunflower seed butter thing at the end, a real thick and creamy. Um, and you'll notice that the Vitamix has this tamper stick, which the Blendtec does not. It pushes the food, you, you manually push the food down toward the blades. So that's very different as far as design goes as you're making your decision. Um, and then in the second video, you'll see this twister jar, the smaller jar, making the same recipe. Um, however, because this is so much smaller, we actually cut the recipe by a third. So in order to be exactly the same as the Vitamix, you'd have to do it three times in this machine. Here we go. Here we go. You saw the Vitamix make a perfectly creamy coconut sunflower seed butter. You saw the Blendtec twister jar make a perfectly creamy coconut sunflower seed butter. 
In my personal opinion, because you cannot fill the Swister jar quite as far, because we'd have to make the recipe two, if not three times, in order to get the same quantity as the Vitamix, I'd call that a fail. Who wants to scrape stuff out and measure ingredients three times for the same result? Um, also, the Twister jar is about $120 additional over and above buying the basic Blendtec machine, which is right now about $450. So I said to my friend, it seems only fair to compare apples to apples. I would like to see the Vitamix compared to the basic Blendtec. You, Blendtec, you buy one thing Vitamix, you buy one thing Blendtec. So again, we did the same recipe, the whole four cups um, coconut and the one cup sunflower seeds in this container, and I'd like to show you what happened. I'd never seen that before in the Blendtec, but we overloaded it. It was working too hard on the same recipe that the Vitamix just did it perfectly creamy and perfectly successful minutes before in the same kitchen with the same ingredients, with the same wild kids running around and uh, pretending to take pictures like their moms. So to me, the Vitamix won out. Now the question you're left with, dear friends, is do you really need a high-powered blender for $400 or $500? I explore that back at kitchenstewardship.com.